When it comes to reporting issues, giving us a adequate amount of information is essential for us to be able to solve your support issue in a rapid fashion. For example, if you were installing hard ops and you attempted to enable it and you came into an error, well, instead of just saying I has error, it is better to give us a screenshot of what the error actually is so that way we can adequately diagnose it. So in Windows, I can press Windows, Shift, and S to bring up the Windows Snipping Tool and draw a box around what it is that I intend to convey. And from here, this image is on the clipboard and I can actually Control V, paste it into an email to convey as a support issue. Whenever it comes to box cutter, it's important to display the file number or the version number so that way we know exactly what version you have installed. In fact, whenever it comes to the naming of the zips, that is important. By providing information on what zip it is you're attempted to install, it tells us what version of Blender is supported, how old the zip is, what version it is, and all sorts of things. So the more information that you provide to us, the better we are able to help you. But just giving us no information allows us to not be able to do very much. So just giving us a screenshot of the error, the file name of the zip that you're attempted to install, maybe some information about Blender itself. For example, you can click on the Blender button and click on About Blender, and this will actually give you the version of Blender in addition to the date it came out, the specific hash, and the branch, which gives us additional information that tells us exactly why you would be running into issues. For example, if I were to receive a screenshot saying that you received this error, that would tell me that you need to close and reopen Blender and you would be good to go. So just to verify that, I'm going to just close Blender and open it up again. And from here, we are now back inside of Blender. However, hard ops isn't enabled. So we are just going to go into our preferences, click on hard ops, and from here, we are good to go. So basically that error told us that registration got stacked on top of itself and Blender needed to be reopened. So sometimes the answer is really just as simple as closing and reopening Blender, but without adequate information, we have very little to go off of.